what's up guys and in today's video i'll be showing you how to make a grow garden game um in roblox studio so i'm not going to make it in one video i'll be making it in many episodes so first let's uh, make the places where when you you know get into the game you get assigned a place but then when there's when you leave the game the place is for nobody so let's get started with that so first let's open our exploring properties tab how by going to view and pressing these two then what we will need to do is to have a retro style or like a stud style how by going to toolbox and just searching up studs now here you have studs material press it and then this is what you will see if you don't have this right here with you just drag over all of them and then drag them to material service because i have them listen i don't have to worry okay so first let's just add a part and if you don't know how to change the um material it's really simple you just go right here press this material and then search up stud just like that now you can scale it you can rotate and you can move and you can sell it it's right here so i'm gonna fast forward and just i'm gonna make Okay, now that the perimeter is done, we can simply just name them perimeter, just like that. Then let's work on the inside by just adding a part and changing the color by right here. Let's, let me just add it, remove it right here. So mine is 60 by 25 right now, my garden. Uh, yours can be anything that you want doesn't matter to be honest I'm just gonna name this part which is the ground right here the grass part let's say this is our place what we will do is we're gonna make a group it as a model how by pressing command G or control G if you want to on model just command U or control U just like that and then command G just like that then what we will need is a sign as you know in um, grow a garden there's a sign where it shows your name and then it's uh connected to your place or your garden so i'm just gonna make that you can i'm gonna fast forward this too Okay, now that I finished the sign, I'm gonna press this big part right here and I'm gonna name it main parts. And now I'm gonna group it as a model, just like that. And then I'm gonna name it as player sign. Okay, so now let's open the model. Go to main part, press this plus icon and add a surface GUI. Inside this surface GUI, press this plus icon and add a text label. Then what we will need to do is go to size, one comma zero comma one comma zero, just like that. Rotation should be negative 90. And now we just have to play it around with the size and position. Okay, so what I came up with is the size is 1.7, 0 0.7, and then the position is negative 0.3, and then for Y, 0 0.15, and the rotation is negative 90. It kind of matters about what size your size um, your sign is. So my sign is 5 by 3, so this really fits it. Then we're going to press the text label, go to background transparency, press one and then we're gonna put the text as bold you can change the fonts to whatever you want i'll just put it as this 
and then text scale equals true and text color three to white i'm just gonna get rid of uh label and just like that our sign is ready then we can put it in our model right here ah. um let's move it more closer and kind of rotate it just like that now you can turn like cast shadow to off so it'll be like more bright like you can see it but it doesn't matter to be honest so don't worry about that and now we can name our model this whole place our whole garden to place now i'm going to make two i'm going to duplicate them by pressing command d or control d just to show you how like it will show us which place is ours and which place is not ours so we're gonna make uh, duplicate them after we duplicated them let's insert a folder name it places just like that and then put the place into the folder places and then what we need to do is start scripting so let's go to service script service press this plus icon and add a script then inside our script we're gonna start with local places equals workspace my bad workspace dot places and then we're gonna write game the player is the player added connect function player and then what we're gonna write is for i don't know what this is called but place in places get children to place oh my bad if place get attribute taken then continue and and then what we're gonna write is place right here set attribute taken true and then we're gonna write place say attribute owner and then comma player dots just like that and then we can write print place has been given to dot dot player dot my bad player simple as that and then we can um, put our text right here so we can put um local player sign equals place find first child which is a model because this player, uh, the sign is the only model in our place. And then if player, uh, player sign dot name equals player sign, just like that, then it will put local text equals uh player sign player sign dot main 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 parts dot surface gui dot text label so the spelling has to be exactly like this and one wrong spelling it will it might give an error so i'm just checking if all of the spelling are correct which is good and then text dot text should equal to player dot 
name just like that and then we're gonna write game the players the player removing connect function player and then what you can do is just copy this thing right here control c control v or command v whatever and then instead of here we can write if if owner and then right here we're gonna write if place get attribute owner and then this this just like that player dot user id then continue and then this is going to be nil which is false and then owner will be nil and then the text should be on on client or none whatever you want to put it doesn't matter and then right here we can put place has been removed oh i messed up something if not i forgot another thing uh now that i'm reading it again we forgot to put a break here because if we don't put a break what happens is that as you see it says place has been given to my player name and but if we put a break right here it's gonna only do it once so look at that my name and then nothing right here so i hope y'all like this and it helped y'all subscribe for more tips and tutorials and for more episodes of how to make a girl garden game bye